Did you know that in most states, it's illegal for Tesla to sell directly to consumers? That's right, in these states, car manufacturers like Tesla are prohibited in one form or another from selling their vehicles directly to consumers. And it's all thanks to a system known as franchise laws. Now, franchise laws date back to the 1930s and they take various different forms, but broadly speaking, these laws mandate that most cars in America have to be sold through independent auto dealers. Now, the original concept behind this was to prevent a manufacturer from undercutting dealerships they had partnered with. Now, for those of you wondering, why would a dealership sign an agreement that allowed a manufacturer to undercut them? Your guess is as good as mine, but politicians seldom need a good reason or even a real problem to write a new law if a powerful donor or interest group wants it. And until recently, few people even knew or cared what franchise laws were. That is, until Elon Musk turned the automotive industry on its head. Almost immediately after Tesla started manufacturing its first generation of electric vehicles, the company began running into serious legal obstacles to actually get the cars in the hands of its customers. Now, some states like Virginia do allow for limited sales under special circumstances. But even here, it took Tesla years of lobbying in order to get state approval to set up just five stores across the Commonwealth. But in 10 other states, there's a total ban on direct sales to include Texas, which ironically enough, became the new home of both Elon Musk and Tesla. You heard that right. Despite the fact that Elon Musk recently moved Tesla's headquarters from California to Texas, it's still illegal to buy a Tesla in person. If you're a Texan, the only way you can get your hands on a new Tesla is to order one over the phone or by purchasing one online. And then Tesla is forced to take the car that they've manufactured in Texas, ship it across state lines before they can actually bring it to your house. And Elon Musk himself has repeatedly called for changes to Texas state law. In 2016 alone, Tesla had to spend over $1.3 million on lobbying efforts just to legalize direct sales to consumers. And so far, those efforts have failed. Now, that sounds bad for Tesla. It even sounds bad for people who may want to buy a Tesla. But let me explain why it's actually bad for all of us, regardless of how you feel about Tesla. Because when a company is forced to spend millions of dollars fighting bad laws in order to try to better serve their customers, too often they learn the wrong lesson from that experience. And instead of rejecting political manipulation of the marketplace, they join in. With companies like Tesla now being forced to spend increasingly more time and money courting the favor of the government rather than customers. And I don't know about you, but as a customer, I want companies focused on meeting my needs, not trying to please or pay off politicians. I'm Nick Freitas with The Y Minutes. Visit our channel to subscribe and leave a comment on what topic you'd like to see us cover next.